Now, from the station on your side, this is Wavy News 10. We're back with team coverage this morning as the cleanup begins after wicked weather moved through our area last night. Good morning. Thank you for staying with us. I'm Deanna Betaneshi. We're on your side as crews assess the damage from the severe storms. We'll get to meteorologist Jeremy Wheeler in the Super Doppler 10 Weather Center in just a moment. But first, we start with 10 on your side's Laura Queso, who's on the peninsula this morning. Laura, there's some downed trees in the area where you are. Yeah, we actually found several downed trees, Deanna. Right now, we're back on Eastwood Drive. Checking out this tree once again that you can see has fallen on power lines. This police officer has been out here since the overnight hours, just monitoring it. As you can see, the power pole is tilted. Power lines are down as well. Something that's pretty incredible, though, is that overnight we saw that most of these houses did have power, so that's the good news. And then across the street, you can see another tree in a front yard here. So clearly those wicked winds did impact this area. Now, at 7 o'clock, we showed you another road where a big maple was down, but it was already cut up and pushed to the side of the road. And Deanna, you mentioned cleanup is underway. Well, it is. Residents are telling me that last night you could not walk in these streets. You could not drive in these streets, but come today you can, and that's because of the efforts of so many residents here in Newport News, but also Something that we told you about yesterday, that crews in all seven cities and beyond would have crews on standby overnight for situations like this. So if there's any silver lining in all of this, is that a lot of that debris has been cleaned up. Of course, we'll, asset, we'll keep monitoring the damage and bring you live reports. I'm live in Newport News. Laura Queso, 10 on your side. Laura, thank you.